Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Virgos for their highest and greatest good. All right, we do have the Five of Wands showing up in reverse. Okay, your person showing up as the Ten of Wands. All right, they're viewing you as the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy, what you don't see, the Hermit card, and your final outcome, the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, so I definitely feel like you have someone that wants to heal things with you, Virgo, whether it's been a fight or an argument or a full-on separation. The Five of Wands in reverse is a strong indication that they want to resolve conflict. Maybe there's just been a lot of bickering, fighting, and arguing, but it's about getting into that Four of Wands energy, a stable place, um, you know, reconciliation, you know, bringing this connection back into balance, you know, protecting you, protecting the connection. And we have the five of swords in reverse. So I would expect really big changes here, Virgo, in your love life or in this connection. Um, like I said, some of you, you're not in communication, but, you know, I'm getting double confirmation of someone here that wants to heal things. Well, triple because we have the five of wands, the five of swords and the five of cups showing up in reverse. Also pay attention to that number sequence, 555. Five, five. All right, and we have the Prince of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person, um, you know, there might be, there might be uh, some gossip around this situation, maybe around you, maybe around them. It feels like their, their throat chakra has been blocked or they need to tell you something, get something off of their chest. With the Ten of Wands here, what a beautiful Ten of Wands. We have these two people holding each other. This person... This person has a lot of love for you, but they're very burdened here by whatever's happened. Um, for some of you, there have been some financial issues or challenges within this connection. Um, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Hmm, this person may not have been completely honest with you about something, or they just simply have a blocked throat chakra. Seven of Swords. It does feel like this person needs to tell you some sort of truth here, Virgo. They've been avoiding telling you a truth. They might've gone quiet. This person, like I said, blocked throat chakra. Most likely they're avoidant or they avoid confrontation. Um, they have a really hard time expressing their feelings. I don't know if that's for fear of like rejection or um, retaliation or something like that. Oop. All right, so we've got the high priestess showing up in reverse, indicating that your person really, really wants to see you. Um, you know, it, it, they might be mirroring you or, you, you you know, you could be mirroring each other, just not talking, not communicating, not reaching out. This person's worried that you're going to slip away or you're going to get away. Double hermit energy. Yeah, because a lot of my Virgos, you are in hermit mode. Maybe because there's been a lot of conflict. Maybe because this person stopped talking or expressing themselves or maybe even they were doing some breadcrumbing here. Okay, and we have the Ten of Wands. Wow, you both are, you know, we get like Hermit energy and Ten of Wands. It feels like both of you are, are feeling the same way. This person knows that you're feeling very overburdened, that you've pulled back your energy. It's like they want to see you. They want to talk to you. But I'm really getting someone here that doesn't have the strength and courage right now. I do feel they're doing a lot of introspection with this Hermit card energy. Um, they've got you on their mind night and day, Virgo. You better believe it. Like you are living rent free in their head, right? Okay. And we've got the star card. This person wants to heal things with you. Um, this person might be trying to play a bit of a long game here with the star card. Um, Aquarius energy. They definitely want to heal things. This person feels like you're the one for them is what I'm getting. Like you're the star of the show. Like I said, you're living rent free in their head, Virgo. And the Six of Swords, they want to move on with you. Um, this is what they're like planning. This is what they're contemplating. But I can see that it's frustrating for you for sure because they're not talking right now. And it feels like they're really avoidant. They might have an avoidant, you know, a, a avoidant detached style here um, of showing up in relationships. And 
with the knight of pentacles here, Virgo, it's like, this is slow and steady wins the race. So for a lot of you, you know, provided there haven't been, there hasn't been like some serious lies and deceit and there might be, you know, there might have been with the seven of swords and the, and the prince and the knight of swords. Um, so it's going to be up to you to really figure out, you know, is this a deal breaker? Um, and it's going to be different for all of you. Um, but for, for a lot of my Virgos, to be honest, I'm getting like this person more than anything struggles with that blocked throat chakra, not being able to say how they feel or express themselves. And it feels like it's a self-preservation thing, or maybe some wounding that they haven't quite healed and cleared from either previous relationships or even childhood. There may also have been some gossip or some interference here from friends and family, maybe even exes. Um, causing some problems. So just be aware of that. But if this, your person wants to heal things, they want to move forward. You know, all they do is think about you. The Knight of Pentacles is like, make sure this person puts in the work, <clears throat> you know, to really take a good look at their codes of conduct. Um, you know, their actions need to be backing up their words here, Virgo. And we see the Princess of Pentacles. I think you're going to get some sort of offer. This person's taking a long time and they may be really nervous. They might be nervous because they, they know that you're waiting to hear from them. There's something they've needed to tell you that maybe they haven't. Okay. And we see the nine of swords energy in reverse, but, um, it, you know, it does feel like there's considerable anxiety and nervousness around this connection. Um, the queen of swords, you are going to get the truth, you know, and the truth is going to set you free. This is one of the most savage queen of swords, <laughs> uh, cards that I have in my decks. And some of my Virgos, the truth may be you know, may set you free from this person or this connection. If it's a deal breaker for others of you, you know, it's going to be about, okay, there was somebody trying to interfere. There was somebody spreading lies. There was somebody, you know, that was, you know, getting in the way of this connection. Um, but you do need to make sure that, you know, bad behaviors or, you know, um, or things that make you uncomfortable, like you express those Virgo. All right. Um, let's see, clear messages and guidance. Uh, this person, I want to go out of my way to do things for you. So this person definitely wants to heal things. They want to buy you things. They want to take you places. This is how they show love. Um, I display codependent, codependent behaviors when I have feelings of low self-worth. Okay. So yeah, you might have found this person to be a bit clingy or maybe codependent um, behaviors can also be like vices and things like that. All right. And we see... Um, you are not my usual type, yet you flow so well with me. Okay, so it does look like they're trying to assimilate, you know, the connection and, and they're really, really, you know, taking a deep dive here, Virgo. And when I don't feel good about myself, I become needy and clingy towards others. So there's double confirmation of that message here, Virgo. So, um, you know, that those definitely could be, you know, things that you saw in the connection that made you uncomfortable, that made you pull back. They know that you're burdened by their behavior and how they've acted. Um, all right, let's see what else we need to know here. What other messages do my Virgos need to hear about this connection? They, but it's like slow and steady. This person is going to like Knight of, you know, Knight of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles. They are going to reach out. They're, they're moving slowly, but they're coming towards you. Okay, and different goals. All right. So again, this is about checking in on, you know, are you, you and this person on the same page? Some of my Virgos, you know, that's going to become very clear whether or not you're on the same page or not. All right. And reconciling this person definitely is coming back around. They want to heal things. All right. But it is going to require some big change and some big compromise. And you are like no other. So you're not their usual type. Um, and so I feel like, you know, that might have been a bit of a struggle for them or the, or like you might be just higher vibrational Virgo than the people that they're used to dating or that they've been with. And I feel like they may have been bringing some of that past baggage into this connection or old ways of like being or showing up in a relationship or treating people in a relationship. So I feel like your person is still or has still been reacting to past energies and we do see devoted. So this person, um, it does look like they're devoted to healing things with you, but you have to see if they're really, really willing to put in those, put in the work, put in the steps to meet you halfway because, you know, the nine of swords energy in reverse can be that, you know, things haven't quite changed. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be tough to, you know, uh, for this person to break out of old ways or old habits or, or quit reacting to past people or connections or habits. 
Um, so it's it really going to be up to you, Virgo, to, to, to figure this out, right? To see if, you know, what are they bringing to the table here? All right. And we see engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this person's definitely, you know, like they're definitely coming in to try to heal things. They want that stability and security here with you. Um, yeah, but it's time to disconnect from the world. So I do think this person's going to try to get you alone. They might propose, you know, a weekend away or like a dinner, or like let's talk, let's have lunch in a quiet spot. Um, some of you, this connection was moving to a higher level of commitment and there's been this major sort of pullback. Somebody might have gotten a bit of cold feet and calling in your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualiz visualizations help bring you together. So some of my Virgos, you're manifesting this. I do see with the star card and the six of swords, your person is most likely trying to call you in. And I do think they're going to pick up the phone and call or send you a message quite soon. Um, but Virgos, we have new love, which certainly can indicate a new cycle in love here for you. Um, but for others of my Virgos, if you, if this is a connection where you know what you're done or you know, you don't want to deal with this anymore. Spirit is going to send you a new soulmate on your path. Um, if this has been a bit too heavy. Um, okay. So, wow. All right, Virgos, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.